Hey everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. Now, as I said in the previous episode, if there was anything I missed in that uh, Forbidden Pathway or whatever it is, where is it? Uh, forbidden... Whatever it's called, where is it? There it is, Forbidden Lands. Uh, I would go back and retrieve it. So there's actually a Knight boss here. There's a Knight's Cavalry. Um, that's the only thing that I missed uh, of real value anyway. I think there's like a couple of runes and stuff like that. So, wait until nightfall. Um, now, got to admit, in the prep, um, I died lots trying to get, not this guy in particular, I haven't even got him yet um, in the prep, but uh, just in the next few coming episodes, where am I going? Should be like, right up here somewhere. There he is. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> a lot of dying, um, a lot of just frustration, but it's good. We're still at a decent level, so we can do this. Um, I should really take out Bloodhound's fan. Oh my lord, I'm gonna die. Oop. I'm doing heaps of damage to the horse, but not to him. Oop. Don't kill me. Alright, that's fine. Oh wow, dude. You're gonna summon your horse straight back up, or are you gonna fight? He's gonna fight. Oh, summoning the horse. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Damn it. One more decent hit. Nope, that was not it. Oh, I missed him. Good counter. Alright, well that took, took way longer than it should have, but that's fine. Um, and with that we have uh, Phantom Slash. I believe that's pretty good. I've never used it, but uh, I think I've seen it a couple of times and it's actually pretty cool. Um, Alright, so from here we're going to the Bestial Sanctum. Um, now this guy, if you hand over all your death roots, he'll go kind of feral. You don't need to kill him, all you need to do is get him to like quarter health and he'll be fine. So hand over all those. So you'll get Ash of War, Beast's Roar, uh, Beast Vitality, and Beast Sling, which I think are uh, incantations. So for your faith build, that's you. You just want to come back and rest. Um, and now he's going to go a bit feral. And he's really strong, so just be careful. So there we go. Okay, then you come back and talk to him. Alright, so Beast Claw was what uh, everyone saw in the network test. Really cool uh, incantation, I guess, faith spell, something like that. Um, anyways, from here, what you want to do is come on out, and we're going to tackle the Gargoyle. So bring up your summons with whatever you think you'll need. This guy can be kind of hearty, so just be careful. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that or not. Nice move, dude. Chug while he's up there. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh my god, camera angles. Please don't kill me. And he's gone. Okay, so we got Gargoyle's Black Blade and Gargoyle's Black Halberd. Um, from here I'm just going to rest and probably turn it to daytime, possibly even level up. Let's see how much runes we've got. We've got bugger all, but surely, surely we can get two with this. Um, if you do have runes, spend them now. Uh, if you can level up, where are we? So that's 35. I'm going to start taking that to 50. Alright, so from here, this can be um, kind of like a suicide run, I guess. So maybe even your Twiggy Crack tear will come in handy. Do I even have that on? I do. Plus that one. Yay, okay. Uh, where are we doing? Past time until morning. Okay, so you don't have to be in mourning for this, I just prefer it. Um, so you want to come to the sort of western side of this. Now, in the original uh, the original version of the game, you couldn't actually do this. You'd just jump down and kill yourself pretty much. But since the patch, it seems to be fine. Um, we are looking for just a route that sort of sticks out a little bit maybe over here. Yeah, so we're looking for that tree root there. So this is on the map, directly there. You just want to fall down. Um, it's probably best suited for your horse here too, but we're just going to drop. And then drop again. Now you can explore this area if you want, there's a couple of uh, ruined fragments, glowstone, stuff like that. Otherwise we're just going to come to this corner and drop down. You can be quite heavy handed with your flasks, we've only got bats down here. Um, they can be really annoying, so if you aggro one, kill it. Okay, and with that in mind, we're going to come to this part here, because it's just that little bit lower. And then we're just going to hopefully not die. Thank you. Come on, dude. Oh, I see he fell. All right, well, that's where we want to go anyway, is right down here. He just keeps falling. Okay, and from here we're sort of aiming for this ledge just where my head is. So, easiest way to do this is with the horse. And then double jump. Go to this lower part here and then... Oh, I'm losing control. Where do we want to go from here? I guess we're just going to have to find a safe spot to drop to. Yeah, see, we, we took a little bit of damage, but that's all right. Um, and I think that's all the dropping down we need to do. So, I want to come all the way to the end here. You get a dagger and a talisman. Oh, don't. Ooh, that was so lucky. 
<laughs> uh, the Sinquita? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I really feel like that's wrong. Bats. And then the Dragon Crest uh, Shield, Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. Now this is actually pretty crucial for like upcoming battles and stuff. Boosts physical damage negation. So it's pretty much uh, the uh, what was in Dark Souls the steel ring or something like that, the steel plated ring, something like that. Um, it's just good. So, anyways, from here, you want to come down the road. Uh, what have I got in the notes? We do. And don't follow up with memory stone. Okay, sweet. So, um, there's not actually a hell of a lot around here. There was a smithing eight, but we got it on a previous episode to upgrade the Bloodhound's Fang, so that is fine. My puppy dog is going crazy, as you can probably hear. Alright, so you just want to come all the way over here to the uh, sort of eastern side, I guess. Um, and we're just going to follow the pathway. Grab the Starlight Shard. Alright, so you can see we're sort of to the left of that bridge. Uh, we're going to come back and kill that dragon shortly. For the moment, we just want to come down here. I'm not sure if there's a night boss here or not because I can't remember whether I killed it or not. Or whether we've done this tower yet. Uh, my money's on the fact that if we haven't done this uh, tower, then the night boss is still in effect. So we've obviously been here. Uh, that is fine. So anyways, we'll try and do the tower. So just to get in here, you just want to jump onto the rooftop here. I feel like I have done this already actually. That is fine, we'll do it again, just for those who missed that episode. And then you want to come over here. Um, not down, we want to go up. Alright, yeah, we must have done this already. There's a memory stone up top. There's an enemy down here. Alright, that is fine, and I'm assuming the night boss has already been done. This is good, it'll just save me a bit of time. Yeah, cool. So we'd already done this. Wait, so there's a night boss generally patrolling this uh, this bridge over here. Um, anyways, from here, what we're going to do is follow this path along. Uh, just be careful of these boulders. So if you see a flash like that, jump and look at it. As it falls down, it'll give you 2,000 souls, which is kind of cool. Sometimes it'll give you like 9,000. I think that counts as an enemy that has golden eyes. So doesn't strike very often, but when it does, if it has given you like 10,000 souls, then that's why, if you're wondering. Uh, there's another one here, so we are just going to oh, get smashed by the boulder. Uh, to our left here, there is a tunnel. Dragon Burrow's Sanctum or something like that. No, it's just Dragon Burrow Cave. My bad. Um, there's a really angry rune bear here, so if you want to avoid it, that's fine. I'm going to kill it because I want to loot all the um, all the side caves. 
Yeah, this thing gives me more trouble than the bloody bosses of this area. So aggressive. In fact, I feel like Frostbite would do good damage to this thing. see we're launching an all-out assault on this dude and it's not even doing anything oh god don't kill me dead yeah see so this thing is really angry still got a hell of a lot to get through so the dragon dragon's burrow might even end up being a two-part area Oh, he's got golden eyes. Frostbite, come on. Damn it. Oh, sweet. We can hit him with a critical. Oh, get him. Ah, we missed it. Damn it. Oh, that's super gutting. is just evil. Totally not getting a critical, but that is fine. He is dead. Ah, stupid room bear. And you don't even get that much for him. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Um, so, I believe this right here is the entrance. I'm just going to find the entrance so we can explore a bit more. Yep, so there's the grace. Okay, so, from the entrance. Uh, progression is directly behind us in this one here, so we're just going to ignore this cave for now. I want the gold rune 12. I want the warming stone. We have some deers. Crack crystal. And this takes us through to get the bull goat's talisman. Uh, what does it do? Raises poise. Makes sense. Because the bull goat's armor is like the Havel set in this game. So, I mean, that, that's pretty cool. Raises it quite significantly, too. If I remember in the, um, the walkthrough prep, it raises it by like 10 or something like that. So, anyways, coming back here, you'll see your two caves. You want to take the left one. Now, this drop will kill you if you're not careful, so just be careful. Should be an enemy over here somewhere. There is not. Oh, wolf. Wolves. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. We have a big wolf. Ah, oh, yep, so you can just drop down from there to get straight to here. Kind of a shortcut back to the boss. Grab the golden rune eight. Oh, wrong flask. That is fine. Grab the beast blood. And then come on through directly east. And we should have the boss room. Um, okay, so from here, what we're going to do is just jump down and quickly summon our mimic. There's two guys here. There we go. These are the Farah Missoula uh, knight guys. We'll f face them heaps later on. They're basic enemies. But here they're pretty strong. Ah, 
I think this counts as like a great um, curve sword too. It's actually really cool. Oh, dude. You are just not my favorite right now. Yeah, look at that damage. Much better. Alright, and this guy just throws rings at us. Alright, we grab the Flame Drake Talisman 2. Gonna be awesome for those upcoming firefights. Okay, so from here we're actually going to go find a grace and rest at that because we have literally no healing. So there's one just up the road here. No beer. Okay, and from here it's actually probably going to be quicker if we come and take out this dragon first. There's an Ash of War to the right of the end of the bridge, but we're going to take out the dragon. Um, just for the sake of getting a dragon heart, I guess. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, it does clear the bridge of this dragon, so if ever you want to cross this bridge dragon free, this is going to be the way to do it. Well, I timed that wrong. If you can hear snoring, I'm so sorry, it's my dog. <laughs> he just loves to sleep. He's just going to do his jumping attack. There we go. I must admit, it is much faster attacking the head, but at the same time, like baiting him into doing the head attacks is just a pain, man. All right, you're going to jump or flame spray? Jump. Oh, ha, went for a head hit and ran into his fire. That was stupid. Newbie move. All right, and with him down, we're just going to cross the bridge. Got us a decent amount of souls too. Got the dragon heart and probably about 80,000 souls. Ah, uh, runes, my bad. Never gonna change. Um, anyways, you wanna stick to the sort of right hand cliffside here. And we have this scarab. Yep, that didn't work. Alright, and you get bestial constitution. Uh, from here, we've got an Erdtree Guardian. Again, summon up the... Whatever you want to summon. In my case, the Mimic. 
This one does rot damage, so just be careful of that. Especially when he does his butt slam. There you go. So directly ahead of him is just all rot right now. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. So with him out the way, got another 91,000 souls. We got Opaline hard tier and the Stone Barb Crack tier. So the Opaline's pretty good because it reduces damage over time um, rather than just reducing uh, all damage for one hit. It sort of just negates it for a little, little bit more time. Um, anyway, so come up the wind tunnel here. We'll see this mound. Uh, I don't think this is the one we want to get on top of, but I'm going to check it out just in case. No, it is not. Uh, oh, that mound directly ahead of our heads. So we want to get down without dying. That'll do. So if you're confused to where we are right now, uh, Fort Faroth is right to our right to our left, or to our east, I should say. Um, so anyway, as you see this flaming wall, you want to come all the way over here to this mound. And we want to go to the top of this. Grab uh, smithing seven, smithing seven, so stone sword key, and a smithing eight. So from here, we oh, where are we wanting to go? There's not really a hell of a lot around here. Um, I would probably say go back to Dragon Burrow Fork. All right, and from here we're going to go west. Now ignore the dragons if you want. And we're going to follow the side path downwards uh, towards the tower. All right, grab the rune arc, grab the somber nine. Dragon Wound Grease, and the Ataria Leaf. Okay. Alright, so if you remember correctly, this is where we picked up the original map fragment. Uh, we're just going to follow this path all the way up here. There should be a grace that we hit ages ago, right to the Dragon Burrow West, right underneath that um, that fallen twig over there. So we've got that already. I'm not going to bother going back over there. Um, and from here, we're just going to follow the path, and you'll see a shack in the distance. Now, if it's nighttime in your game, be real careful here because there's a bell bearing hunter. I would say he's the hardest one in the game and should be a final one too. Um, but for me, it's daytime, there's a merchant and this is where we're gonna wrap up. So thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I will see you here next time.